I think the people who make these systems, they really need to have long-term conviction. And it's very difficult to predict when society at large will get fed up with a certain set of corporate interests. And so it seems very obvious, but the rate at which it's going to become obvious as a personal choice to the larger public is difficult to predict. I don't think this applies as much to blockchains and smart contracts and all these different DeFi things, because these things have an economic incentive. So they basically say, I know plenty of people in Bay Area and Silicon Valley who are like, I can earn 6% or 8% in DeFi products. Man, interest rates just went down. I can't even get 2% anymore from a bank. So it doesn't matter what they think, right? It doesn't matter what documentary they saw. It doesn't matter what their friends think. Pure economic impetus, once these blockchain-based systems reach a sufficient level of economic incentive, people will simply adopt them. Even if you believe in behavioral economics, isn't even as moderately rational economic actors, they won't really have a choice. Nobody is going to keep earning 2% while everybody is easily earning 8%. That's just not realistic. I know it's funny that I say that these other people have this problem for their innovative technology and I don't have this problem for my innovative technology. But I think that that is a significant difference, the incentive to use the products that come out of the blockchain industry.